Yo, what's going on, my dudes? It's the same man and son and back in and shit. What I wanted to talk about is uh, the fucking pay-per-view that's coming on tonight, Extreme Rules. You know, this is my predictions and all that. All right. The pre-show, you already know these dudes got to have a fucking silly-ass match before the fucking um, pay-per-view is, you know, Cody Rose versus The Miz. I think this is fucking retarded. Like, how much fucking dues does Cody Rose have to fucking pay for him to get fucking acknowledgement in this goddamn company? Seriously, like, this shit is fucking ridiculous, man. Like, Cody Rose is a real good competitor. I like just about most of his matches. Like, his promos is okay. You know, he got the lisp thing, but his, it was okay. And, you know, I see he get a little uh, burn you know, from Damian Sandow or whatever with the Rose Scholars shit. I understand that, but still, like, like, the fuck out of here, B. Like, he should be a, a, a worthy singles competitor, like how he was from before in the mid-card, you know? But anyway, I already see the Miz winning this shit because, you know, he just came came back from filming a movie and, you know, they might have him win to, you know, build steam to, you know, have him go on his little run or whatever, try to build him as a as a, a decent face for the mid-card because for the upcoming movie or whatever the case may be, yada, yada, yada. Should have been on the card, though. They should have fucking replaced that shit with the fucking Randy Orton and Big Show match, but I'll get to that soon. Next up. Mark Henry versus Sheamus. Now, how they built this fucking match, it's like Mark Henry has to fucking win. This dude done pulled two fucking trucks. This dude done did all this extra shit. Like, it would be so fucking foolish for Sheamus to win this fucking match. Because it's like saying, like, okay, um, this dude, Sheamus, could pull this guy that could pull two fucking trucks. Do the right thing, WWE. And y'all owe Mark Henry for for this fucking win. Because he's supposed to be winning. He's supposed to be fighting fucking John Cena tonight. But I digress. I'll get to that soon also. Next. The Shield versus Team Hell No. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Daniel Bryan. That's my dude. Never really been much of a big fan of... For, uh, for Kane I'm not I, I don't give a fuck What anybody say I'm not really A fucking Kane fan I think these dudes Is the Wackest tag team What are the Wackest tag teams I won't say The wackest But one of them Because They do have Some entertaining um, Like Like um, Promos And Skits Or what way have you They do have Some entertainment ed- Entertainment To them But they hardly, they hardly fucking defend the titles, and the only time they defend the titles is against the same motherfuckers, and they always win. Like, like, come on, like PTP was supposed to bend with those titles, like, and the list goes on. You know, like Rose Scholars, you know, they was a bend had win them titles, but so they better lose tonight because fuck it. Y'all held the titles long enough, and it's pretty obvious y'all supposed y'all supposed to be keeping it warm for the fucking Shield. The Shield should fucking win this match, and I really hope they win this match. It'll give their their angle a purpose. You know what I mean? Don't draw the shit out to the next pay per view. No, no, fuck that. Let's get the belts off these dudes. They caught. They already had their cost. Whatever. Their their run is over. Let this. It's, it's, a, it's time for the Shield to start running shit. Moving on. <laughs> Jericho versus Fandango. Oh, man. And I told my people on Facebook, Fandango was going to catch on real fast. I knew it was going to happen. You know what I mean? And <laughs> and what did I say? Like, I'm, I'm just going for, I don't know. I guess Jericho should win this one. But this one here is really hard to determine because... You know, they they trying to make um, Fandango uh, um, a believable heel, and he got this this whole wave popping off right now with the da 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 you know? So, I don't know. But I think Jericho should win that one, and then next pay-per-view have Fandango one, and then let that beef just fizzle out. But that's my predictions for that. 
<laughs> Next one. Dean Ambrose against this dude, Kofi Kingston. This dude, Dean Ambrose, should beat the shit out this dude, Kofi Kingston, and take that title. It's about that time. I'm tired of Kofi Kingston, and shots go out to my dude, Jay. Bring your ass home soon. You know what I mean? I know he would love to see this dude lose that fucking U.S. strap. Give that shit to my dude, Dean Ambrose, from the shield. It's what everybody wants. Kofi just needs to go away and come back completely refreshed, completely renewed, new character, all that. He's stale, he's bland, he's boring. All that jumping around shit don't amount to nothing after a while. Moving on. Okay. Now, this one here is a match I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, the ADR versus Swagger match. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, um... Like I always liked this rivalry from when it was born from way before way like, way before the money in the bank shit. You know what I'm saying? When um this dude um Ziggler cash cash the money in the bank. This like the 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 they they really told a story, you know. It's just that it lost it lost a lot of um heat and attention over the weed shit. Yeah, swag, I know you want some it is. But after that and um, you know, this dude I forgot that dude name that was coming at them about all the tea party and all the nonsense, whatever. And you know, you know how typical Vince is nowadays. He backed up. You know, he he fell back a little bit. You know what I mean? Um. But a, a, after that, it got better when this dude Dolph Ziggler won Money in the Bank, and it turned into a, a, a three way angle where you know everybody's coming at this dude for the title. You know. Um, Alberto Del Rio won his fair match, and Swagger feels like, oh, if it wasn't for him, he wouldn't have been able to cash in money in the bank and win the title. So this tells a great story, you know. I'm really looking forward to this match, you know. Um, well, let me get let me get through the story. Sorry about that. So it became a, it was supposed to be a triple threat tonight, but given the unfortunate circumstances, this dude <laughs> Swagger is a fucking just a heavy hitter in the fucking ring. Kicked the shit out this dude Ziggler, gave him a a, 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 a amnesia problems and stuff like that. I forgot the name of it, but um. It's, he's he got like a short term amnesia or something like that. It's real real critical or whatever. He like um I wish him the best, you know. I wish him the best. But I wish they should have stripped the title off of him and just you know, so when he would when he would come back, he could come back as a face run, you know, with a face run. Like, you know, he didn't rightfully get lose the title and he wants redemption again the title back when he comes back you know a nice little face run that would have been a perfect time for him to turn face but you know wwe whatever but my predictions for that match i think swagger should win you know swagger should um because he's the more aggressive don't get me wrong i like adr as a face but swagger i think he should win that next up oh god Big Show versus motherfucking. I'm gonna. There's a part two coming up. I... <laughs> Wait, just stay tuned for part two. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 